we're estimating another proportion here. And in this one, we're not actually given the P from the sample, but we're given the actual information in the sample, 200 people total, 106 had children. So we need to compute the proportion. So we're taking the number of, in this case, we're considering a child a success in this case. Uh, so we have 106 out of 200. So it's about 50%, 53%. And we want a 90% confidence. Let's get the Q. That's one minus P. N is 200, that's the total number. And what else do we need? Let's get our confidence. So for me is 90 and that's 0.9, we have to take this halfway to 100 or to one. So average one comma that value, and that should be 0.95. All right, ready for our Z. So this is norm S inverse. Probability is that one halfway to one. There's our Z value. All right, EBM is Z times square root of P times Q divided by N equals Z times square root P times Q divided by N. Uh, so this value will give us the uh, error bound. We're gonna take that, add it, subtract it to the proportion and all right our low is proportion minus error and our high will be proportion plus error so it's these two values here three decimals 472, the big one, 588. All right, we do need to verify this uh, N times P times Q. And I'll just squeeze that in here. That is, all right, we'll go with N times P times Q. The order doesn't matter when you multiply. And that's 49.82 to one decimal place, 49.8. Okay. Uh, all right. They don't tell us that how big the population is, but I think it's safe to assume 200 people is not more than 5% of the population, unless it's a really small population.